All right, welcome back to another episode of Creme de la Creme. Uh, yeah, I, I know it's been a while, but we're back, better than ever, and I'm here with a text effect. So starting out on the edit page, we are going to drag in from our toolbar a fusion composition, and we are going to open that in fusion. So now we're gonna set up our node tree. First, we're gonna grab a background node, then a merge node, and we're gonna connect that up. Then we're going to add a text plus node, as well as a duplicate node and a background node. So select your text node, come over to the inspector and type in the text you want. I'm just gonna put text here. I'm actually gonna bring down the alpha on this background node so we can see the text. Then we're gonna select our duplicate node, come over to the inspector, and we're going to right click time offset and add an expression. I'll have all the expressions down in the description so you can just copy and paste them in. But basically what this expression does is it creates an amount of subframes within one frame and those amount of subframes are the number of copies and all of these subframes will be displayed all at once due to it being a duplicate node. If that didn't make sense, don't worry about it. For this demonstration, I'm going to change the number of copies to 20. More copies will make it look a lot smoother, but it will be very laggy on your PC. So don't set this value too high. Now select this background node in the inspector, right click the word red, go to modify with, go to gradient color. We're adding a gradient color modifier. Now let's switch over to the modifier page and we're gonna add two more expressions. Expand the time controls and right click on start time, add an expression, and the expression is going to be floor, open parentheses, time, close parentheses. Then for end time, we're going to add another expression. This one is going to be seal, open parentheses, time, close parentheses. Now to explain what these expressions do, they're changing the value of the gradient in one frame over and over in each frame individually and depending on where you are within the frame a different value of the gradient will be displayed on the background node and so we can just select our duplicate node and move it around just a little bit and we can now see how that works i'm just gonna set it right about here and i think that looks nice so we'll keep it like that now if we want a different gradient on our text because the white and black is kind of boring, we can just select our background node, come back to modifiers, and edit the gradient here. And I'm just going to play around with it until I get something that I like. And sure, that looks good. So here's what happens if you stretch it too far or you have too little copies. You'll start to see that the smoothness of it goes away completely. Anyways, that's all. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you maybe learned something. This is more just me showing you the concept of what you can do with subframes and gradient color modifier. Leave a comment. I'm planning on doing more of this series. Uh, we're gonna just do some MoGraph stuff. MoGraph all the way. All right, bye.